Dear Galway GA Club, it's a fast growing club. It has nearly 2,000 members at the, currently. It was formed in 1968. It consists of uh, boys and girls. Uh, we have senior men and senior women at currently. What makes the club so special, I think, is, is, the, is how inclusive it is. We're just the one club. I see it as a club. I don't see it as a one club. You know, um, we all have boys and girls in our families. And I think, I don't see why there should be, you know, a, either a men's club or a ladies' club. It doesn't make sense. I think that's number one. I think number two, as a one club, resources are shared. And by resources, I mean uh, coaching skills, you know, pitches, finances, expertise, advice. It is the way to go. And I think really, if you want to develop your club, it is probably going forward into the future. It doesn't matter, male or female, as a club, you know, I think it's a one club. It's not, it's a, it's a club. Our gym is the latest piece of development that we've added into the club. At this stage, we have two senior teams in the club. We have a senior men's and a senior ladies. Now, with the way games have gone, uh, strength and conditioning is a very, very important part of our games. The fact that we have access for all, it means that both men and ladies are treated equally. In relation to, the, the, to our finance model, uh, we have, one, we have uh, one central executive committee and the Central Executive Committee look after things like development plans, the major fundraising events. For the operations of the club, we have, we have the, of the sec sections of the club, we have a senior section, a juvenile boys section and a ladies section. Each of those sections or sub, or sub committees have their own chairperson, secretary and uh, treasurer with their own independent checkbook. There was a lot, a lot of autonomy, but the funds come through the central funds uh, of the club. The development of pitches, you know, it was great to have a, a one common objective within the club and one common objective as regards uh, the, the need for fundraising and support to develop pitches. And when it came then to the likes of, of dressing rooms, we kept in mind that uh, the, the different types of dressing rooms, we, you know, you, things like a privacy wall would be, is, is a big advantage on, on the main door. Uh, things like showers, like some people like, may like individual showers, so we have options. So that, that we, have different, we have different types of dressing rooms. We have some, some dressing rooms with common showers, some with, with, with uh, independent showers. Uh, that, that type of thing has helped uh, a lot, both men and women. Inclusivity. Um is, is so important in, in all walks of life, but uh, we, we really exemplify it here in Clare Galway. There are huge advantages to being a one club, both on a playing level and on a social level. Here within the club, boys and girls, men and women, we're all treated equally, and that is really the goal for society as general. The growth in ladies football has been really exponential. Uh, we started in 2002 with six girls to a current playing membership of nearly 500 girls so it just shows you how important it is for females in sport to have a club that welcomes them that encourages them that develops them and allows them to flourish I can understand from uh, from clubs that are that are separated at the moment the difficulty in actually trying to, to come up like bring a, accepting the concept of bringing every everybody together. But I can I, I, we, we, after doing it we, we can we can safely say that it, it is definitely a no-brainer. It works for the family. It works for the community. It works for facilities. It works for fundraising. We would say that uh, yeah, just get on and get it done. There needs to be openness. You know, from both sides, from the ladies' side and from the men's side, there needs to be respect, you know, of views of both sides. There needs to be, you know, an acceptance that there will be a sharing of resources. But I think if you get both the both sides, the LGFA and the, the GAA, to put their shoulders to the wheel, you know, you can have one marvellous club.